Yes, absolutely. Erin's working really hard in the circle, and it's our job to back her up and make it a little easier on her. So, yeah, the pressure was definitely off there. It was a first-inning defensive play in a then-scoreless game. So in the grand scheme of Q&D's regional showdown tilt with Pleasant Plains, just how much emphasis should we put on Corinne Dickerman's early gem at second base? Eric Orn certainly has an opinion on that topic. We have a great defense, and when Corinne makes that play in the, in the first part of the game, it's almost like a big first hit. Um, it was a great defensive play. It kind of gave us some momentum coming in to hit. It also settled an admittedly nervous Aaron Cornwell in the circle and at the plate. In the bottom of the first, Cornwell sack fly staked the Lady Raiders to a 1-0 lead. In the second, Q&D would augment that as Kaylee Wall drew the bases loaded walk to start things off, and then Haley Schirnel delivered, depending upon your vantage point, a one or two run single as there was a great deal of dispute as to whether the catcher's tag was applied at the plate. The umpire ruled safe, I'll let you be the judge, and Q&D answered that controversy immediately by tacking one more on here with Aaron Cornwell's RBI single. And with a 5-0 lead working, even a bases loaded jam left the Lady Raider pitcher unfazed the rest of the way with a nasty changeup working and planes unable to mount anything. The hit parade would continue in the bottom of the fourth. Kaylee Wall's squeeze extends the Lady Raiders to a 6 to nothing lead, perfectly executed. And then Haley Shirtle continues to swing the hot bat, this time an infield single to plate her third ribby of the day. It's 7 nothing Q and D. Now it's Abby Shrek's turn to go to center with the RBI single. 8 nothing headed into the bottom of the fifth, and that's where Corinne Dickerman would continue her red-hot day. Miss Dickerman, one to the fence right there. It turns out to be an RBI triple, and very gratifying for the QND senior to also score the walk-off run right here as QND wins a regional title by the final count of 10 to nothing, and does so in a manner that positions the Lady Raiders nicely for the tough road ahead. Back you had an opportunity to watch Tri-City yesterday. They're, they're a well-coached, loaded, powerful team. Uh, one pitcher going to the U of I. So we've got our hands full on Tuesday, but we've got two days to repair. And right now with the momentum that we're carrying into this, I like our chances. I, I'm not ready to be done yet. And so winning these games means a lot. And so we can just keep going. I'm going to be honest, the team chemistry on this team is amazing. We all play well together. We're a great teammates to each other. And that's what really gets us going is whenever we have the people on the bench cheering for us in the, in the dugout and helping us because they mean the most to us. And I think if we didn't have such good chemistry, we wouldn't be winning as much as we do.